God first, 116, and unashamed, your boy the man, NJ, to the city with the number two, and to yo, let's go. Yeah. So, um, to put more media to it, more context, more concepts, or context to the concepts about it, um, a lot to get into, quite honestly. Um, so, by the way, if I'm never able to post just regular audio tapes again on this channel, which eventually I probably will, just have to get a new iPad for that, you know, or older iPad, you know, one of those 2012, 2013 versions, because that's the one that I'm still using now for all my music. Um, you know, I'll just have to wait till I get another one of those, because, you know, or wait till the server stops, you know, messing me over, which is really what it's doing, is messing me over, um, and so on and so on. Um, so, I, you know, so I can log back in and things can go back where they were. Because the reason why I had logged out to begin with, because it was, I think, two weeks ago, if not last week, um, when I had tried everything to get the server to, to, to work right. I had restarted the internet, I had deleted a few more audio files, um, I had done whatever else I had done after that, and just nothing would upload. Oh yeah, and I also, um, you know, chose another audio, or created another audio file to try to upload, to see if that would work, and it just would not upload no matter what I tried. So I'm like, you know what, I've done this before with logging in and logging out, which I probably should have just waited a couple hours, but I was so hungry to get what I wanted out then and there. I just wasn't patient enough. So, yeah. And my gut feeling told me not to, not, not to log out. But that's what happens when I ignore my gut feeling that I, you know, you, you know, I go with whatever else I go with. So you get the point. But, um, yeah, so I'm like, you know what, I've done this before. I've logged out and tried to log back in, and it worked for me, so I tried to do it again. That's when it wouldn't do it. Again, the way it used to, and I'm like, oh God, what did I just do? Did I just end ruin my entire career? You know, in terms of in terms of uploading on YouTube, I'm like, oh God, it's ended my entire career. Um, but um, yeah. So for now, I'm just gonna be doing vlogs, and hope you all enjoy them. Um, my idea for vlogs and for uh, uploading music still is like I'll just do a two-in-one package for you. I'll do a, uh, introduce a new series which I can just do right now titled um, story or song and story. Um, just you know maybe five minutes if not shorter videos of me explaining the story behind the song and tell you and telling you that the link to the song is um, in the um, description section of uh, this uh, video where it's gonna take you to a, a SoundCloud or to my SoundCloud page, one of my, one of my SoundCloud pages of Younglings Nation, and um, you're gonna get your get get your start there. We're listening to the actual song after you hear what the actual video, uh, or the yeah the, <laughs> the actual story of the video is about. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm pretty much watching a rerun of um, Girls Basketball on um, CCX Media. Look them up; they're phenomenal. They're awesome. So um. Yeah, I got to get got to get into that a little bit too. But um, one of the top things that I want all kids to learn from me is not about um how to be me or how to be a motivational speaker. As I was just talking with myself about that a couple minutes ago before I got on this video, I'm like, you know what? What I want kids to learn from me is not how to be a motivational speaker because it's like I keep saying, it's like two plus two common sense easy to do that. Um, we have too many motivational speakers out there. But what I don't think we have enough of is uh, motor, uh, not, um, we don't have enough of um, activists. That's what I don't, I don't think we have enough of is enough activists. But then learning how the political spectrum of things go, we don't have enough godly activists with godly, um, godly, um, uh, don't know how to, how to complete that or I do just like five other words I can use. We don't have enough godly activists, you know, and that's one of the top problems we have in our society. You know, we have, I think, too many motivational speakers and not enough godly activists. Um, you know, like the ones that don't have a biased agenda to push on you and so on. And um, with that being said, um, I want everybody to understand God first one was on the shame on that. Um, yeah, I don't want kids to learn how to be a motivational speaker for me. I want you to learn how to love thy neighbors thyself. I think that's the harder part that a lot of people have no clue how to do is love thy neighbors thyself. I think more people have their biased favorites or just their favorites than they do anything else when it comes to learning learning to love thy neighbors thyself. I think that's vitally very important in today's society. We need to learn how to love thy neighbors ourselves, particularly our kids. 
you just start learning how to love thy neighbors thyself. Now, once again, I'm not a parent whatsoever. I'm only 21 heading on 22 years old. I'm not a parent whatsoever, but I am uh, assuring you that um, like the remake of the song will come out titled Third Parent. For a lot of kids, if not all kids in general, I look at myself as that third parent for you. Obviously, what your first two parents say goes first, but obviously I'm like that third parent, that third caretaker, that third caregiver to mold you, um, to mold you, give you advice, um, and so on and so on. Similar to what my brother uh, Tristan called me in his freshman year, his Manny, um, so on. So that's almost what it is for me. You know, that's what the third parent role is, you know. And I don't have any shame in calling all my um, K-8 kids my kids. I don't have any problem with that, like I said before. In many cases, you all are my kids. But you're my kids in a certain, a different demographic. Like, you're not my kids in terms of, I did not help make you. But obviously, in terms of, um, in terms of helping take care of you or helping... Um, you know, support you and encourage you and honor you and give back to you, you know, that's that that's the way in which I look at you as my kids, you know, and so on and so on. And I get, and, and, and there's a reason why you hear and hear and hear and you hear in other songs like Support Women that I dropped and other songs that are coming very, very soon. There's a reason why you hear me say I have a feminine heart because a feminine heart is not code for Nate's gay. Okay, that's not what it is. Um, having a feminine heart is my love, you know, for for um my love for women. I love women so much, and that's why I make women's empowerment anthems for them. Um, it's my love to support and encourage all my young sisters out there, you know. Um, and you can hear in this song, I literally say, I have a feminine heart for um for what's it called um. Well, I thank God for my feminine heart because it allows me to relate to women's rights, women's issues, and whatever else that much better, that much more. That's what that's a part of what it is. It, you know, it has various sectors, and not various layers. But me saying I have a feminine feminine heart is not code for Nate's just gay. It's not that whatsoever. It never has been. Never will be. Um, it's just it's just that's another way of which I express how much I love women and how much I love to support my sisters out there. That's what it is. You know. Um, you know, and how much I, you know, have a, like a mama bear spirit in me to an extent where it's like, you know, the caretaking that I like to, you know, I, you know, like, you know, like to give or when I'm in that mode, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's, it's one of a, you know, of how a, a, a woman would uh, feel with her cubs and so on and so on. Now, for some of y'all, that stuff might still go over your head and make no sense in the world, but let's put into again even more simpler terms. It's just me expressing that's how much I love women. That's how much I love to support my sisters out there, all my young sisters out there. That's pretty much what it is. From all age groups, I love to support women. I love to support my young sisters out there. That's what it is. You know, that's what the fem the feminine heart brand is. Um, a core soul purpose of what it is. Um, it's not code for Nate's gay at all. If I was, I would just come out and tell you. You know, but that's not what it's called for whatsoever. So please stop mistaking it as that if you've ever mistaken it as that before. Um, and by the way, like I said before, one of the top reasons um, when it comes to all my young sisters out there, I might be black, Afri African American, but that doesn't mean that when I keep saying my sisters, that does not just go towards black, African American people of color. It doesn't. It goes to all, um, um, all girls of every nationality and race. All women of every nationality and race. That's what it goes towards. I don't care about your race for the most part. I'm still going to love you the same. Now, your race does matter in terms of where you come from and you know what we can learn from you and about you, but it doesn't matter in terms of how I love you. I'm going to love you the same. You know, And that's something I think a lot of us need to truly, truly get into when it comes to the state of the world and how we further society in God's light and so on and so on. But that's what it all means to me and so on and so on. And um, I want everybody to understand, you know, very much, you know, there's so many talented young girls out there. And I've, like I said, I've been uh, scouting them and supporting them for years at Nice. And then I moved over to do it at Valley and then uh, Valley Ridge Academy. And, you know, now I'm going to continuously, you know, go to more schools next school year and do the same thing. You know, Pedro, St. Augustine, uh, get back over here to um, 
in Jacksonville to my alma mater current middle school, Sandalwood, Mandarin High School, you name it. I'm going to be hitting these spots and I'm going to see where we can continuously get better at mentoring, developing, supporting, and encouraging these, these little kids. I really can tell you, I look at all the world's kids as pretty much my kids. You know, all I want to do is support you, encourage you, mentor you, honor you. All I want to do is godly protect you. Like, it's like, let me be your guardian angel. Another top terminology of what it's like saying, let me be your guardian angel. That's what I want to do. I want to be your guardian angel. Other than I want to be your big brother. Other, you know, terms of saying it. I want to be your guardian angel. I want to be your um, big brother. I want to be your third parent. I want to be whatever godly I want to be to help you, you know, survive, persevere, and just godly trust and love thy neighbors thyself. But one of the topics I want all kids to learn from me is not how to be a motivational speaker. I think we already have too many of those, let alone I think that's just too easy of a goal uh, to aspire towards. I think what's even harder is how to love thy neighbors thyself because it's easy to just love selective people. It's harder to have an open heart to say, no, I'm going to love all people. So I, that's what I want people to understand, especially if you want to come close to being like yours truly, that's what you need to do. Start first with learning how to love thy neighbor as thyself. When you can do that, trust me, everything else will come naturally into place when it comes to being like me, if that's what you aspire to do. You know, everything else will come naturally into place. Just learn to love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's what I want everybody to understand. Now, in terms of, once again, supporting and encouraging women and girls out there, I want everybody to understand. These women are so tremendously talented. These young girls are so tremendously talented. You know, again, I've been supporting them um, for years in these. Um, travel over the valley, support them there. These girls are tremendously talented, spot on, dual threat. You cannot put a price tag on their talent. Of course, they definitely deserve endorsements in terms of price tags, but other than that, you can't put a price tag on the godly talent which they have. And I want people to understand. One other, I don't really want to, you know, bash people in terms of, um, bash people into supporting women and being like. You know, and bashing them in terms of, you know, this is why you need, you know, bashing them into supporting women or bashing them into supporting young girls. I don't want to bash them into that. I want to encourage them into it because bashing them would be almost being like, you know, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just say her name. God bless her soul. Hillary Clinton, to an extent, when she said that everybody who voted for Trump was all these different terms. You know, and so on. Most notable, the deplorables word that she used. So, that's what I would equivalent bashing you into supporting women and young girls as. Is me calling you all these different terms. You know, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to go and I'm, not, I'm trying to move beyond gender here with why you should support women and young girls. I'm using, instead of the gender card, because I really can't. You know, I'm really going to say I, you know, I can understand why people use the agenda card. But at the same time, if you really want to get people, you know, who live in caves, you know, if you want to, you know, people live in the underground to come up, you know, you know, to, you know, give them a reason to come out and support. You can't, you know, you, you can't, you can't attack it at gender. You can't attack it at, you know, at those, at those, those things. You have to attack it with or go forward with it in a new direction by saying and you can look at my twitter account i posted it a while back the reason why i support women and young girls so much is not because of their gender it is or at least top two i believe so like gender definitely falls somewhere in top three if not top five but the number one reason ain't really because of their 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 gender i don't think it's more so because of of um more so because of their uh what's it called of their, their individual talents and skills. That's what it is. It's more so because of their individual talents and skills. When you literally look at a lot of these young ladies and a lot of um, these, uh, these women from all age groups, these young ladies are so tremendously dual threat talented. You literally, I'm telling you, you just have to dissect it. You just have to study it. And you just have to give it a chance to grow and blossom. And trust me, you'll see what I see. If you don't already see it now. So thank you all for watching. If you're subscribing to this video. God bless everybody. Um, you know, um, and I hope everybody once again has a great blessing. Get the uh, rest of May. I'll be posting more, more uh, vlogs over time. And yeah, we'll continue to just keep learning, building, growing with this in Christ's name. Peace.